Jesus still with you? He is. He's walking right behind me. Uh, uh-huh. Okay, so just keep going forward. And the okay. most important piece is we want to help you keep being aware of Jesus. The best possible scenario is to just be aware of Jesus on the whole journey toward the traumatic part, during, through. And if we can do that, that's the best possible way to do it. said, I'm caring for your soul no matter what's about to happen. I'm caring for your soul no matter what's about to happen. So like even though he didn't intervene to stop it, he's saying he, he cared, he's caring for your soul. Huh. How does that feel? Feels really right. Feels really right. So that feels true. Uh-huh. He is on top of me and some portion of our clothing is off and um, I don't I don't actually recall details <clears throat> I just had to go away you just had to go away I had to go away yeah yeah laying down with me. Huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Holding me. <laughs> Jesus is still there, right? <laughs> Yeah, okay, good. As, as long as Jesus is there holding you, the intensity is fine. I just want to make sure that you're not in a bad place by yourself. So we, we bless what you're doing. We just release your healing with our prayers, Lord Jesus. And <laughs> He's laying his body out between the two of us. Huh, huh, huh. Huh. He said to me, if I'm here like this with you, okay, you don't have to go away. If I'm here, he said to you, if I'm here with you like this, Kay, you don't have to go away. Huh, huh. Like he's protecting. Oh, somehow like he's, he's between me and the thrusting and the movement. And right. Hmm. He said, "I couldn't, I couldn't rescue you because this is just the way it is. But I can protect you. Huh. I can be with you. I can protect your soul. Your soul belongs to me, not them." It feels true that it was all my fault. Mm -hmm. What do you want me to know about that? Mm -hmm. He is so angry. Oh, Jesus is angry. He's just screaming in the house. It is not her. not her fault. It is not your fault. It is not your fault. It is not your fault. He's just saying I'm
I have from the womb and I did today and these other times and I'm always going to take care of your soul. Uh, uh, <laughs> and I'm doing it again today. Here, right now. Uh, so, I have taken care of your soul from the womb. I've done it before. I did it in this memory and I'm doing it here in 2019. Is that, did I follow that? Yes. Uh, yes, Lord. So we... Bless all that, Lord Jesus. <laughs> yes, Lord. Hmm. Hmm. Another important and beautiful lasting positive change is that Kay continues to be satisfied with Jesus' answer to her question, Why didn't you rescue me? Why didn't you stop this guy from hurting me? During the session in response to this question, Jesus essentially said, I did not stop this boy from hurting you in the physical realm, but I protected the part of you that matters the most. I protected your soul. I have always protected your soul in the past. I am protecting your soul now, and I will always protect your soul going forward into the future. And importantly, Kay reported that this answer from Jesus felt true and right and satisfying. At the three-month follow-up interview, Kay reports that these words from Jesus continue to feel true and right and satisfying. Since Phoenix, I just, I sense there's just more of a peace. She mm. just, mm. I just sense more of a peace. There's mm -hmm. just, there's something in her soul that's more at rest. Mm -hmm. than I've ever seen it. I also uh, tried to use pills when I was 17 years old to go to sleep and not wake up. Even with my children, they, they brought joy and mm -hmm. I experienced joy, but I always had this, this thing, this root down in the base mm -hmm. of me somewhere that was like, I just would rather go ahead. I mean, I'm a believer. I'm going to go I'd just rather be with Jesus. I'd just rather be with Jesus. Yep that way anymore. <laughs> I don't think sooner is better rather than later for mm -hmm. me.